Hello, and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Uh, now, today we've been sent another debut puzzle, I think. This is from Alice, who's sent us a Tetromino Sudoku. So it looks quite like a normal Sudoku, but it's not solvable without the extra rule, which is that the one, two, three, and four in each three by three box are connected in a tetromino shape. So they could be the L shape or the T shape or the O shape. What else is there? They obviously can't be the I shape because that would sit outside the box. There's also the S shape. So one of those four shapes. So like that, like that, like that or t-shape so we know that about one two three and four and i think the way we're going to be using that is to make sure we don't get isolated small numbers in in each box so i'm going to have a go at this do try it yourself i've saved the puzzle for you below the screen um, in the description field and it's going to be worth a go let's have a look so there's quite a lot of givens. Let's, we've got nines there and there. So the nine down there must be in the corner. Um, that works very well in this box with the ones. It's got to be there. Now, we know from the constraint, the two has to be in one of those, but that doesn't decide it yet. Fours there, we can do keep doing ordinary Sudoku, certainly for a while, I think. They're helpful there. Fives there and there. Oh, I thought that was going to give me a five, but it just gives me a pencil mark. Um, ones, twos. Let's fill in a few of the pencil marks that are possible from the same sort of shoot reasoning where, ah, oh, ones down. I oh, know we've done ones down there. So yes, okay, so we get a one there. there. Six is there. Actually, that's getting quite interesting up here. Three, five, eight, two, six, and seven. Uh, hmm, no, not done yet. Three and one of those two. Um, what else have we got? Sixes and one of those two. Sevens and one of those two. Fours and one of those. Um, hmm, so maybe we can use the constraint to pop something open. Right, so the two obviously has to be in this group of cells to connect with the one, three, and four here. Um, and it's not in that one, so in the central one. So it must be around the outside. So in one of those two, let's just fill it in as a pencil mark for now. Um, up here, not sure. This isn't one or four. No, that's not very helpful yet. How are we going to use either the constraint or maybe I'm just missing something here. Eight, nine, seven, four, one, three have to be, look, we've got three there and one in those two rows. So those two have to be a one, three pair. And that pushes the five there. Now we can use the constraint here. We've got one, three, four in those cells. So the two has to connect with them. And that gives us a six there. And now we're moving on a bit. So that's quite useful. Let's get rid of that five. We've got a five and an eight to go in on this row. And we can tell which way round they are because of this five up here. Two, six, nine, four. So we can do the eight and two as well in the central box. Six, nine, five down here. This must be seven and two here. But this looks wrong. Something's gone wrong because three, four, and one are not connected with that two. Okay, that didn't work for me. So let's um, let's restart. <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong there, but let's try again. So here's the start. Let's start with these threes. Now I'm still confident. Okay, I, what was it? Nines or sixes? We we put something in this box, didn't we? 
nine we can put there that's right one has to be in one of those two but maybe i was wrong to select a box um three seven four eight nine here this one can't be a one or a two because of the constraint um, because that could never connect up in a tetromino shape with the three and four so and given that there's a five there that has to be a six so now that has worked quite neatly one of those is a five eight nine six that's an eight because of the eights here gosh you can go about this in a very different way i wonder what i did wrong before i may not ever be able to work it out the only place for a six in the final column is there uh, nine there obviously i could work it out by watching the video back and seeing what i did but that may not be what i do so four is very clearly there because of those three fours that puts a four up here this seems to have uh, been a much better start <laughs> don't know what went wrong before sorry folks um but there we go we are all human so seven there two in one of those in fact this one can't be one two three or four because it could never connect with that three so it must be a seven that gives us three there as the only possibility uh, we can get rid of that three these are actually one and four up here and we know from those ones which way around they go so we've got our tetromino shape there that's fine so two one and four up there we know the tetromino shape there is all right there's no problem with that um it looks like i think it has to be okay here oh no this has to be either one or four but we knew that anyway okay so let's just keep going down the grid um five two one six this has to be an eight because of everything in its row and column three and four is a pair there so two can't be here for instance but that doesn't really matter at this point um Okay, seven, six, and nine are over here. Hmm, where else can we go? Not sure. Oh, that's what is quite interesting here is that three has to be over here somewhere because of that three and that three, and that's quite separate from that four. So it can't be up there because they could never join in a tetromino shape. Two can't be in the middle joining up the left and the right side. So one must be in one of those two and it can't be there because of that one. So that must be a one. Now, where's two going to go? Well, it could be in any of those three places. But that's still been quite helpful. Um, nine now has to be in one of those two spots which given that nine places nine here is it nine one of these is a six we've known that for a while i strongly suspect that this has been easier all the way than i was thinking and i've struggled a bit with it but there we go that does sometimes happen now there's a seven there and seven there because that's a three four pair this has to be the seven that resolves the eight seven pair here got one two five to fit in now that's interesting this can't be a two because of the tetromino constraint so that has to be five those are one and two in some order five and six here that's good two and eight in those two um, and either will work for the tetromino constraint now could this be a five yes it could because you could have two here and three here so i can't quite fill that in yet in fact five is in one of those cells and in fact that means this is a six eight pair up here and that helps resolve that. 
six, eight, seven, eight, two, five. That puts six here. And we've got a one, three, and four here. No, one, three, and four amongst those three. So two is in one of those. That can't be eight. That can't be eight. The eight in that row is there. That finishes off the six, eight there. One here. Yeah, four and seven. So that's all resolved. And we've got our tetromino there. Two and four. Four, six, nine, seven. These are five, two pair, which gives us a one here. Uh, two and one here. Still can't quite work out which is which, right? One there, and that's a two, three pair. Okay, three, four has been resolved. Um, seven, that's a five. Uh, so that fixes this two five pair and that puts seven here and we've got two six nine along the bottom they have to be in that order so that gives us two here nine here uh, three for the tetromino constraint now has to be here five there and three and two so that puzzle solves very nicely um, when you start it right. No doubt you'll be able to point out what I did wrong at the beginning with my first attempt, um, but it was fairly easily fixable. Nice puzzle. Thank you very much, Alice. Um, my feeling is one could remove a lot more numbers from a Tetromino Sudoku like that and have a much uh, emptier starting grid and still make it solvable. But... That works very well. It's not solvable on its own without the constraint. So a very successful variant Sudoku. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you got there as well. Um, do subscribe if you haven't already and uh, feel free to sponsor us on Patreon and get the extra content monthly there. And uh, worth mentioning also that Simon has begun um, solving a, cross, a cryptic crossword clue a day on Instagram and certainly follow us there as well because uh, that's just a one minute or less video every day I think. Thanks very much for watching and hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.